welcome to episode 26 of the Graceful Tingle podcast. I'm Emmy Kate, a young but passionate knitter and crocheter. You can find links to my various social media platforms in the description box below, as well as the link to the show notes for this episode, which will be found on my blog. So be sure to check those out and follow me on all of those places. I love to be able to communicate with you guys um, through all of the platforms, not just here on YouTube. I'm so excited to be back with you guys today with a brand new episode. I have quite a few things to talk to y'all about. Um, we're going to talk about some works in progress, some, or well, I guess one, design, a little devotion, and then a um, brief chat about a knit along that is actually happening right now. So we're going to go ahead and jump right into it with works in progress. <music> So yes, we are completely skipping over finished objects this week because I do not have any, which is totally fine and a little bit expected as I will chat about a little bit later in life updates. But um, yeah, I have two works in progress to show you and I'm really excited about both of them and I have made lots and lots of progress on both of them this week and it feels so, so good. Alrighty, so for starters, the longest one. This is the All of the Lights cardigan that I am working on for a, or well, as a, goodness, sorry, it took too long for me to grab that bag. Anyway, so this is my All of the Lights cardigan that I am working on for Addison of Ruby and Rose's yarn. It was actually my goal to get this done this weekend. However, I don't think that's quite going to happen. Um, I had something come up that was really exciting but completely unexpected. And so that has kind of taken a little bit of time away from me working on this. But that's okay. I've still made really great progress this week. And I wanted to go ahead and show it to you guys. So again, I am knitting this as a sample knit for Ruby and Rose's yarn. I am using her Velvet colorway, And here is a new skein. I'm going to run out of these skeins eventually. And then I'm just going to have to show you it in the cake. But... It is a gorgeous, gorgeous color. I just love this color. It's so beautiful. Um, it's like the perfect pink. It's not blush pink, but it's also not like magenta. I don't know. It's so beautiful. So that is the color that I'm using. And here is my progress. So y'all have seen this quite a few times now. Because it has been, like, this is, like, my life's work in one project. And I'm 18 and, like, you know, knitting Koyo is not stopping anytime soon. So, obviously, it's not. But I feel like it could be. Um, anyway, so, I have finished the body. The body is done. Oh, man, I'm so excited. So, here it is. Again, the body is done. I do have to go back and add the pockets um, but that shouldn't take too long, and I was really at the point where I just wanted to get one of the sleeves done and come back to the pockets later. I had kind of in my mind I was going to finish the body, then do the pockets, then do the sleeves. Um, but now what I'm thinking is I'm going to knit one sleeve, knit the pockets, then knit the second sleeve. That's my plan. Um, we'll see how that goes, but that is at least my plan right now. I don't remember where I was last week. Um... I really don't. I don't think I had sorted the ribbing yet, and I'm not entirely sure. Um, but regardless, I have finished the ribbing, which is just twisted rib, a few inches of it. Um, and yeah. So this is going to grow a lot with blocking, and I've been expecting that the whole time. Addison has asked um, for me to not block it until she receives it so that she can block it to her finished measurements because this is for her. Um, which is obviously totally fine. It's just I'm not going to be able to show it, like, really, really finished. Um, but again, it's totally okay. So, that is this project. Um, again, I have started one sleeve and I'm not super full into it. But it has taken a little bit for me to kind of settle into a groove with it. And I feel like I finally have. I finally figured out how to keep track of the rows and things like that. Um, overall, it's really simple. This stitch pattern is what the majority of the sleeve is knit um, using, and it's my favorite stitch pattern of the entire cardigan. I really want a cardigan, like a complete cardigan, or at least some sort of garment in just this stitch, and kind of change it up a little bit. 
Um, so stay tuned for that because I, I really would like to design something with it. But um, it is a little bit tricky to decrease while using that stitch. And I'm kind of guessing because it doesn't really say what you're supposed to do in the pattern. Um, which is fine. I think it's supposed to be self-explanatory and that's what I'm treating it as. Um, but yeah, so it kind of took me a, a, a little bit to process, you know, what I was actually supposed to do, but I think I finally done that. I am not alternating skeins on the sleeves. So far, it's fine. Um, I know this, the cake that I'm working on right now, which has flown all the way across, um, this one is pretty standard. The other one that I was working, um, using on the body, yeah, this one is lighter than this skein. Like, you can kind of see a difference there. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is not use the rest of this, um, unless I have to, which I don't really think I'm going to have to. I might use it on the pockets, actually. Um, I will use it on the pockets. So I'm going to use this on the pockets, but I'm going to use this on the sleeve, and then I will just go into this skein for the other sleeve, slash the rest of this sleeve, whatever need be, because these are, like, exactly the same. Um, so. And that's my plan. I think it's going to be totally fine. I haven't had any problems with pulling this entire sweater, um, and it, it just looks tonal, and that's what it's supposed to be, so, yeah, really thankful for that, um, but this will actually hopefully be the last time you see this, um, before it is finished. That is my goal. My hope is to film a whole separate video all about this, this cordian and my, um, my thoughts on the pattern and just get really detailed into it more than I get, more detailed than I do here in the podcast, um, and I want to film a whole separate video on it so my goal is to not show it again until that video but we'll have to see i'm i'm really hoping to get it done this week though for sure i was hoping that last week i was hoping that the week before that but it's okay it happens Alrighty, so that is that project i'm gonna go ahead and put it back in this bag so that it is so easy for me to grab it and work on it later today this bag by the way i got it at a thrift store like i don't know years ago I'm not a huge fan of the colors and the way that it looks, but it's like the perfect bag for a big project because it doesn't have a zipper or a snap. It just has these two handles. You just leave it open. It's really amazing. Um, I kind of wish the colors were a little bit more pleasing to the eye in my opinion, but it's okay. And it's still so handy. Alrighty, and then my second work in progress has also seen so much love and it makes me so, so happy. This is my Anook pullover test. I'm actually keeping it in a bag that I made, which I'm absolutely loving. Um, it's bigger than I originally thought it was. Like, the whole sweater is in this. And it's full. Like, it's definitely full, but it's not, I don't know, stuffed. Um, yeah. I'm kind of hoping that it holds it the whole time I'm working on it, but we'll have to see. Anyway, so, I honestly do not remember where I was last time I showed this to you. I really should start, like, going back to my last episode to see that but I have finished the back panel so the way this is constructed you make the front panel the back panel you seam them together from the bottom up and then you um seam the shoulders I'm sure yeah you seam the shoulders and then you do the sleeves so um the front and back panel are worked separately they're basically exactly the same the back panel you look all the way up, the front panel you do a v-neck, like almost exactly how this um, outfit that I'm wearing right now is. So I was originally going to do the front panel first, and I had kind of like, you know, it's the same amount of stitches, so it really doesn't matter. It's just what came first in the pattern, and so that's what I was just going with. But as I was quickly approaching the spot where I would split for the v-neck, um, some of the other testers were having difficulties with the v-neck portion and instead of me starting it too and adding all of that extra confusion for Bella I decided to just go ahead and do the back panel which is something that I was debating doing anyway um and now I'm working on the front panel so I'm really glad I made that decision because the back panel is more crocheting um so here is the back panel I love it so much I this is gonna be the most cozy sweater I'm so excited about it so it's obviously very big, very oversized. Let me turn it around so that the ends aren't showing. Um, 
So yeah, you can see that it's going to be wonderfully drop shouldered, which is the intent, and I'm very happy that it's going to work out that way. Um, I am using Knit Picks or We Crochet Static in the peachy colorway. Here is what it looks like in the skein. So I started out with four skeins of this yarn. I have this much left of the third skein. And I'm really hoping, I'm hoping, I'm hoping, I'm hoping that I have enough. If not, I will order a new skein. Um, but I'm, I'm really hoping that I just have enough and then I don't have to worry about that. We're going to have to see though. We're going to have to see. I'm holding it in this um, Yarn Cozy that uses the Yarn Cozy Light Pattern from Nitty Natty. Absolutely love everything about this little cozy and it just works so, so well. I need to do like a full review about that pattern because um, I knit this before I started filming, before I started my YouTube channel. So let me know in the comments below if you would enjoy seeing a video like that because this is such a wonderful pattern and I... I love to promote it a little bit more. I have talked about it on Instagram multiple times, so you can head over to my story highlights if you want to watch it there. But um, yeah, I'm definitely. I think I should definitely film another video about that. Anywho, this is the back panel. Again, it's done. It's amazing. I love it. It used like one. That's my third skein. Probably almost one and a half skeins um, or hanks of yarn. And then here is my progress on the front panel. So I am over halfway done with the section um, before you split for the v-neck. My center stitch looks crooked, but it's actually not. I think something about this stitch, like, it gets shoved somehow because it's so, it's not loose, but it's just like yarn overs, and so sometimes they can get moved. But it's not actually crooked. My stitch count is fine, so... Anyway, it'll block out for sure. Anyway, so I am over halfway done with the section before you split for the V. So eventually I will split and go this way and this way. Um, but I'm not quite there yet. I'm hoping to actually finish this today. But we'll see how that goes. Um, so yeah, over halfway done with that. I have a Progress Keeper. Um, this is by Yoro Mail, who is Eden. You can find her. Um, on YouTube, actually, she does have a channel, and I just love this little progress keeper. Um, so, yeah, that is my progress on this project. Really excited about it. The deadline is approaching faster than I would like it to. <laughs> I feel like the deadline, I'm going to talk about this more later, but the deadline is, like, December 3rd or something. So many things in my life are, like, the deadline is all in that one week of December. And I'm ready to be through that week. <laughs> For sure. Um, I have a deadline, this deadline, this test deadline. I have two huge patterns that are releasing um, like just a couple days before that, before December. Right, like the day before Thanksgiving and then after the day of Thanksgiving actually. Um, and then I have school coming to a close finals that week of December um yeah it's a lot this girl is ready for a break but I love these tests and I love working on them and I'm really excited to see some future progress on that so that is all for regular works in progress now I'm going to talk about my design that I have started and I've um, actually put a good bit of work into the past couple of days which I'm really excited about so let's go ahead and talk about that Alrighty, so for design talk today, I'm just going to show one project. This is something that I have been meaning to cast on for so long, y'all, so long. And now I'm kind of down to the wire, um, but it's okay. It, again, it happens. I just, I'm kind of at the point right now where I'm like needing to only focus on one thing and get it done, but really I'm going like 50 different directions, um, but that's okay. We're going to get through it. So, this is a brand new blanket pattern that will be coming later in November. Um, and I love it so much already. Oh my goodness. So, here is a close-up of the texture. I'm actually in the middle of a row, which I know is ridiculous, but I've only done this much of it. Um, and I could totally finish it, but I'm a little bit crunched for time, so I don't want to... 
kind of want to finish my now and delay this. But anywho, I have done a good bit so far, which I'm really happy about. I kind of have a goal for myself on how much I need to get done each day to get it done by the deadline. The pattern itself is super simple, guys. Like, the pattern is basically done. I mean, I could release it now and it would be totally fine. The problem is I need to make this sample and it's going to take a lot of time. Um, but I am using Brava Worsted, oh no, Brava Bulky in the color Seraphim. It's actually all lined up right here. So you will see this diminish very, very quickly over the next couple weeks. Um, but here is what a brand new skein looks like. I love it so much. I love this color. I am so, so excited to have a full blanket in this color. Um, and I actually have a... This is kind of silly, and it doesn't really matter, but I'm going to say it anyway because I'm excited about it. So, and I have a, a quilt, obviously, on my bed right now. And it's the one that I use for the majority of the winter, or the, the year. Um, but before I got this quilt for my 15th birthday, so I've had it over three years now. Before I got it, I was using a comforter, and it was like a really squishy, big, warm, I really liked it, a really big comforter. Um, that we actually got from my aunt, I believe. And so I like to use that comforter in the winter because it's a little bit warmer than my um, typical quilt. And it's a little bit more wintry. And so I like to kind of change up my room just a little bit to make it a little bit Christmassy and um, just, I don't know, embrace the winter air, I suppose. As much winter air as we're going to get in Alabama. Um, but... My point is, this blanket is going to look gorgeous on that, that gray comforter. So, I will definitely have to post a couple pictures and share them here um, and on my Instagram feed of my bed when I finish it. Um, because I'm really excited about that. I know it's ridiculous and I know it doesn't really matter, but whatever floats your boat, right? So, this is my progress on this so far. If you're curious, this is almost exactly two balls worth of yarn. So, it goes a long way which is pretty awesome. Um, so yeah, really excited about this project. I absolutely adore working on it. And now it's just getting it done in time for the deadline. I'm not worried about anything, but getting it done. That's the, that's kind of where I'm at with it. But, um, yeah, so I'm also still working on the kimono, but it is almost done and the pattern is almost complete. So that one is almost completely finished. So you'll be seeing that soon as a new pattern. So stay tuned for that. Um, and I have also been working on a couple of other designs, but again, they look secret as well right now. So, that is the only one I can show. Now we're going to go ahead and talk about a little devotional, and then a knit along, and some life updates. So, let's go ahead and jump into that. Alrighty, so for my devotional this week, I want to keep it pretty short and sweet, but... I think I can say for all of us that we all need a little bit more peace and grace and love and mercy in our lives right now. Um, I know that 2020 has been a difficult year for a lot of people, a difficult year for the U.S., um, a difficult year for the world, but it's also really important to kind of um, realize the good things that have happened this year as well. So... I'm kind of spending the next, the the remainder of this year just focusing on that because while this year has been difficult, it's also been like the biggest year and the most beautiful year of my entire life. And beautiful doesn't have to mean pretty and rainbows and butterflies. It can mean ugly crying, but it's been the most beautiful year and I'm really grateful for it. So with that, I just want to encourage you um to focus on the peace that God brings. First, 2 Timothy, excuse me, 2 Timothy 1, 7 says, For God does not give us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. So just take that verse and think about it and meditate on it the next week and kind of realize that even though there's so many things in the world that are going on that we want to control and feel the desire that we need to control them, we can't control them. God is in control. And so we have to remember that he gave us a spirit of peace and of love and of the the desire to serve him. And we're not of this world. We are of the kingdom of heaven. And so I just want to encourage you to not worry and to not fear about things that you can't control, but rather 
focus on yourself and your attitude and that's not in a selfish way that's in a realizing where you are and where god wants you to be type of way because that is the most powerful realization that we can have and the most powerful relationship that we can have so i hope that's a little bit encouraging to you i have found myself being anxious about quite a few things recently and that's not good and that's not where god wants me to be so if you are in that state know that first of all you're not alone and you know you can message me anytime you like for some extra encouragement but um at the same time know that god is always there and he's always ready and willing to talk to us so with that i actually want to talk a little bit about a knit along that is happening right now so Natalie of the Nina Nanny podcast and Love and Stitches, you have heard me talk about her quite a few times. I truly admire her both as a person and a creator. Um, in my mind, we kind of have a few things in common, which is really fun for me. I don't mean that in a weird way. I just mean um, I can kind of see how we relate in, in some ways. And I really like seeing that. I like making those connections with other people. So she is hosting a knit-along right now for Woolly Wishes, which is an organization um, that sends donations to um, Africa, I believe. That's right. I actually am going to pull up their website so that I can accurately tell you. Um, I mean, this is such a good organization, and it's actually run by two um, young women who are a little bit younger than me, actually, which is really exciting to see. Um you know, this organization that's run by people that are about my age. I, I love seeing that in this community. Um, so I am going to pull up. Yes, I was right. I, w- I should have just said it because I was confident and I thought I was right. Um, so anyway, they donate handy crafted items. So that's anything knitted, crocheted, woven, anything like that to Syrian refugees. So if you want to learn more about this and more about this knit along, be sure to check out um, Nitty Natty, I will link the video where she talked all about it in the description box below. The deadline for the knit along is actually next Sunday, November 15th, and I am donating five patterns as prizes. So if you want to head over there and make something and send it off to that wonderful organization, be sure to do that before the 15th and you can enter your project into um, Natalie's knit along or make along, whatever you want to call it. Um, and you can enter to win one of those prizes. So I'm donating a couple patterns, but there are so many other amazing patterns as, uh, amazing prizes. Some patterns, but prizes is what I meant to say. So be sure to check that out if you would like. Anyway, so a little bit of a life update. It's been a crazy week, um, and it's just gonna get crazy. I'm very grateful because I did not have any exams that would do. Actually, I take that back. I did have an exam that was due Friday, but I took it ahead of time. And so I didn't actually have to do any exams um, this past Friday, which was so amazing. However, let me assure you that that is not going to happen <laughs> again. I don't know. Maybe it will happen again, but it's not going to happen this week. Um, and kind of like, I wish they were a little bit more spread out, but instead it's like you have all four due and then you have none due. So that week where you have none is amazing. The week where you have four, not so much. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be working very diligently this week on both schoolwork and business stuff to really just put um, my best self out there and to work as hard as I can and do my absolute best because that is all I can do. So that's a little bit of a life update there for you. Um, yeah, crazy, crazy times. Um, but yes, so... That's about all I have to chat about this week. I hope that you enjoyed the podcast. It makes me so happy to know that so many of you are enjoying it and that you like watching it. Um, It is probably my favorite video to put out to you guys. And I just love that so many of you kind of agree with that. So let me know in the comments below what you are working on. And let's keep those conversations going. I know that there have been a couple of issues with the comments in the past. But I'm currently working on that and just trying to make that problem completely go away. So the comments should be there. They should be enabled. You should be able to comment all you want. Um, so be sure to do that if you can. Alrighty, thank you so very much for watching. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please, please be sure to do so. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you can know each and every time I upload a video. I also, I almost forgot to mention this, but I have a giveaway going on right now. So 
Be sure to click the link in the description box below if you would like to enter my giveaway. It is an amazing one and I am so excited to be hosting it. So be sure to do that. That ends on the 15th of November. So be sure to do that very quickly so that you don't miss out on that prize because it's a good one. It's a good one. I'm really excited to draw a winner for that later this week. Anyway, thank you so very much for watching. I hope you have a great rest of the week and I will see you all again next time. Bye.